Hey everybody, it's Pastor Daniel here again for Ask the Pastor, this time the Holy Week edition, as we'll be coming to you a couple of days this week talking about uh, special days that are happening in this week called Holy Week. And today we are answering the question, what is Maundy Thursday or Holy Thursday? Well, Maundy Thursday is a important day uh, of an important week that we call Holy Week. Holy Week is a week that happens each year for us as Christians where we not only remember, but we relive the last days of Jesus. And we build up to the celebration of Easter and his resurrection. The Holy Week begins with Palm Sunday as Jesus enters into Jerusalem. He enters with great celebrations, praise, fanfare. But Jesus does not come back out from this city alive after this entrance. Well, not until Easter, that is. And so while each day of of Holy Week marks different events that happen during Jesus' time of Jerusalem that allow us to kind of relive this time with Jesus. So Monday, for example, is when Jesus turns over the tables in the temple because the, the people there were corrupt. Or yesterday was when Judas conspires to betray Jesus. But today, Maundy Thursday, is when things really pick up. It is the time now when Jesus has his last night of freedom, really, before he is arrested and crucified. Now, I have to admit, growing up, every time that I heard this phrase, Maundy Thursday, I I would get confused. uh, Mostly because I kept on hearing the word wrong. I kept on hearing it as Monday, Thursday, and I was confused of how could a day be both Monday and Thursday. But the word really is Maundy, short for a Latin word called mandatum, which is where we get our word for mandate from. On this night, what happens is Jesus gathers with his disciples, his closest followers, and he gives them a commandment, a mandate. And this commandment is to love one another, love each other just as Jesus has loved them. And then we have stories of how Jesus, in fact, loves his disciples. He shows his love for them by washing their feet, which is a tradition where a a servant usually does it for their master, not the other way around. But Jesus here is doing it for those who serve him. We have Jesus gathering with them for the Last Supper, a meal with them where he explains how his body and his blood is given for them. And so in many churches on this Maundy Thursday, we celebrate with services that talk about this commandment to love one another. Some services will have foot washings in them as we wash each other's feet, echoing that love for each other as we have an example from Christ. And many of these services will also have communion as we remember the Last Supper. All of this helps us to live out and to remember God's commandment to love each other as we remember how Jesus loves us. So that's a a crash course on Maundy Thursday or Holy Thursday. I'll see you back here tomorrow as we talk about Good Friday and what that means. Hope you have a Holy Thursday and a good Maundy Thursday. Amen.